Alright guys, it's your boy the 16 and check out what is on the screen right here. That's right, we are doing our Premier League 2023-2024 to season. Now, of course, we've got the newly promoted teams. And traditionally, they don't do so well in the Prem. Some do surprise us, others are just what I like to call table fillers. They're just there for other teams to get points. So we've obviously got Luton, fair play to you guys, any Luton fans, I don't know who watch my channel and stuff, but got to be said, Luton get into the Prem, okay, they did it at Wembley, yeah, but still they did it, so fair play to Luton, welcome to the Prem. Um, now, my big thing, are they going to have the squad depth to survive in the Prem? Am I going to put them mid-table? Am I going to put them in relegation? I feel like everyone's going to go for Luton to go down, just because they're such a mediocre club. I don't mean that in any disrespectful way, shape or form at all, but let's face it, they are. Um, I feel like Wolves might struggle this year as well. They've just got a brand new manager, I believe it's Gary O'Neill. But yeah, so who have I got going down? I'm going to say Wolves struggle. I'm not saying this is the order, but I feel like Wolves are down there. Luton are down there. And... Palace without Zaha. <laughs> now, hear me out, hear me out, right? You might think that's crazy. But, Zaha carried their team. They may be losing Elise to Chelsea. I know they've brought in a few players, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me being a Brighton fan and I always want to vote for Palace to go get But hey ho. Anyway, so that's the uh, relegation tier confirmed. Done. Locked in. Bosh. Next, we got 13 to 17. Who survives relegation? Evan. They are just that team. They are that team that will not ever change. They're never, ever going to change their philosophy. They're never, ever going to do better than they do. Two seasons in a row, they've escaped on the final day of the season by winning their game. They just love to give their fans freaking drama. I feel like they want to be the dramatic team of the Premiership. So, Everton, you're going to be up there. You're going to survive, and you're going to give us yet another, oh my god, if they don't win this game, or if they don't get the points, they're going to get relegated. <gasps> oh, oh god, oh, so-and-so is going to score. It's just going to be one of them. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Forrest had a good season. Fulham had a good season. Brentford had a good season. But I'm putting Bournemouth next. They're going to finish 16th. Now, Forrest in 15th. And I'm going to put Sheffield United controversially to do well and be 40. But, as I say, these are just my predictions. Palace, you can argue with, so you're blue in the face, but I don't care. They're going down. They're done. They're, they're goodbye. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> you had a nice time in the Prem. <laughs> now go down to the Championship. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Fulham without Mitrovic. Brentford. Without Ivan Tony, Burnley come back up to the Prem. Vincent Company is their manager. Honestly, I think I'm okay with that. 17th, 16th, 15th, 14th. I don't know, Fulham. I'm going to put Fulham there. Look, we've still got Villa, Burnley, Brentford, Brighton, Newcastle, West Ham. West Ham finishing 12th this season. Fair play, Joe. Fair play, West Ham. Won the conference. Fair play to you. You did a good job. But, you know, I can't move anyone. But, yeah, they're, let's pretend that's 12. Brentford, 11th. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Villa, Burnley, Brighton. <laughs> it's 
See, the hardest thing about being a Brighton fan is do you go with your head or your heart? Because my head is telling me that we've got no chance this season because we're in the Europa League and we've not competed in Europe. And there's a massive, massive chance that we're going to lose Caicedo. Massive chance. I mean, you could look at the Hood as a Caicedo replacement. We've got Milner. Jao Pedro is looking brilliant. I know it was only pre-season, but he looked solid, especially in the Rayo Vellicano game. Him and Welbeck combining. But our oh, squad depth worries me. I'm sorry to say it. I know that people might message me or might leave a comment and who were Brighton fans as well. Please do, but our squad depth is worrying me so much. We need extra staff. Like, kudos. Please. Tom from Ajax, you've agreed to personal terms. Where the frick is he then? Why is he not on a plane? Why is he not at Brighton? So, yeah, it's going it's to be tough. I'm going to say that Villa finish above us. Villa are getting some. I don't care. Villa are a great team. Unai Emery has turned that team around. The fact that we both qualify for Europe. Yes, they're in the conference, not Europa League. But still, they have every chance of winning that. If they can balance, if any of these teams can balance European football with the Premiership, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tight. And it, it, I will say this: strap yourselves in. This season could be one of the greatest seasons we ever see, or it could just be. Well, I'm not going to say who we all think are going to win the league or who I think is going to win the league, but I think you can guess from uh, what I was about to say there. So, yeah, it could be one team walks away with it. It could be a couple of teams are. Up, down, up, down, up, down, like the Arsenal, Man City last time. Man, Man City have what? I can't remember what it was because my ball knowledge sucked. But they had a gap to a field with Arsenal and Arsenal bottled it. And Man City went above them. Then Arsenal kept dropping points and dropping points. They lost to us at the Emirates. That made them drop further down. So you're welcome, Man City. We helped you win your league title. <laughs> I'm just saying we did. Oh, God. Right, so anyways, there's the relegation. Palace, Luton, Wolves. Sheffield United finished 17th, 16th, 15th, 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. Brighton get 9th. Here's where it gets interesting. I put Villa there. Now. Here's how we break this down real quick. All these teams, fantastic. But there's a few differences between these teams, and that is European football. European football, European football, European football, European football. No competition, no competition, no competition. So, I'm putting Spurs. They're going to get Europa League. Newcastle. I think Newcastle have a good season. I really, I really think Newcastle have a good season. They're going to be up there with Man United. Which means... If this team here... This team here, get Kaiseido off us for 100 million. Because, you know, this team here won him. If they take Kaiseido, then it's a game changer for them. They need a Fabinho replacement. He will fit in beautifully. So what I will say is this. If that happens, Liverpool get in top four. I think Liverpool mm. Do I think Liverpool have got a better squad than Arsenal? I'm gonna obviously uh, City are gonna win it. I don't see any squad, I don't see any team competing with freaking Man City. Man City are just this machine that just keep turning and turning and turning. They get setbacks, they get injuries. 
they just bring out some other players. Their recruitment, not their recruitment necessarily, but their, like, academy, their young players come through the system. So, for that reason alone, City are winning it. The thing that I can't debate is where I want Arsenal to finish. That's what we need to debate right now. As I say, between these four, they could come second. They could come second. But then you've got champions, second, third, fourth. It's where I put Chelsea, because Chelsea without European football. Chelsea, if they can get Mudrick, who I have seen playing friendlies. I've seen him playing that uh, Ukraine friendly as well. If he can get his just football playing time and just be the best player he can be, same with Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea have got a solid squad. If Chelsea get Caicedo, they've got a solid squad. But we are not going to let him go to Chelsea. Liverpool might take him. That's what I'm saying. This is why, like, from 12th to the champions, it's anybody's game. Like, let's be honest. Everton are more than likely going to finish 70. So let's say this is my prediction. 18, 19, 20. They're gone. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. 12th, 11th, 10th, 9th. I think we get 9th. You know what? I'm going to make a late switch. I don't think they get 7th. I think they get 8th. I think Chelsea get 6th. Tottenham 5th. 4th, 3. Liverpool are going to be runners up this year. As I say, it all depends on transfer. The transfer window is not shut, which is ridiculous. Season kicks off in less than 20, well, just over 24 hours for the Burnley Man City game. But what I'm saying here is, all that matters is, I'm being honest, and this is this is crazy, crazy to say. For me, all that matters is Caicedo. Whoever signs Caicedo has a chance, a slim chance, don't get me wrong, because he's one player. But it's, have a chance of upsetting the momentum of Man City. But here's how I see it. Man City have now won the Champions League. They've finally ticked that box. They've got rid of that nightmare that's been eluding them for years and years and years. So they've done that. They've won the domestic treble. Tick that box as well. But this year, there's something up for grabs. And if they don't win the title, it's off. Man City have now won it three years now. Number four. Can they get number four? No club in the history of the Premiership has won four. Man City, if they win this year, have done it. So that's why if Haaland's banging in goals for fun. Mate, that guy is a cheat code last season. He was scoring for fun. He was scoring tap-ins, penalties from outside the box, headers. He was bullying players. He was ridiculous. If he has that same season, who will stop Man City? That is the biggest question in the entire Premiership. Who is going to stop Manchester City from dominating? That is the key word here. They are dominating. It's not like they're slipping up. And even if they do slip up, other teams slip up and they still manage to get back up. They could have a 20-point gap and still close the gap with like 10 games to go. They're ridiculous. They've kept Kyle Walker. They've lost Riyad Mahrez. They've lost Gundogan. They've got Bernardo Silva, Jack Grealish, obviously Haaland, Kevin De Bruyne. Their squad is stacked. But again, I feel like no one, and I mean no one, is stopping this Man City side. So once again, just to go through it, because I have made a few little screw-ups, and that's, that's me, I, you know, hold my hand up. I don't use this. Normally I use a chart, as you guys would have seen, but I decided to use this. So, let's go over it. 20, 19, 18. I don't know the order. Yes, Palace are there. They're probably going to fucking finish 11th, let's face it. But I'm putting them there. 
Everton, just above the drop zone. I don't care. They're finishing 17th. This lot can fight it out, but that's where they're finishing. 16, 15, 14, 13. 12, 11, 10, Brighton and 9, Villa and 8. We're going to have a little topsy-turvy. I've put West Ham up there as well. But they are, they're strike force. I think they had Haller, that's Dortmund's player. He's banging in goals for fun. For West Ham, I, he didn't really do much. Skamak has gone to... Skamak has gone anyway. He, he has one season there. He couldn't leave quick enough. So, I don't know. They've obviously sold Declan Rice. Gone to Arsenal. Is it going to hurt them? I don't know. I mean, I thought they'd come in for Caicedo. It seems like every other Tom, Dick and Harry wants our Caicedo. Where will Caicedo go? Where will the money that Brighton get for Caicedo be invested in? And will we ever see Kudos in a Brighton shirt? These are all questions we're going to find out the answer to by the end of the season. And I will come back to this video and I will say I got some of that right. Obviously, most of that it's going to be wrong. Obviously, Palace. Um, sorry, but it had to be done, didn't it? Come on, let's just ban up. But, yeah, uh, I'm hoping that I've got some of that right. We, I'll try and figure out how to do like a little point system, even if I get a pen and paper or something. Get three points for a right answer, no points for a wrong answer, and one point for being like one place off or something. We'll work it all out. Anyways, guys, let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. There's the Premiership season. 2023-2024. Remember, guys, please feel free to roast me in the comments. I don't mind that. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.